Welcome back to Red Hawk Media. Today, we're continuing on with our previous episode. Uh, just kind of a quick recap of where we left off. We um, created a transparent overlay. So we went to New, and we created a document that was sized up to 1920 by 1080. Now, we also did this, instead of typing all this in, we saved our preset. Okay, and now I can come in here to lower thirds, which is one of the presets that I created um, for myself, which is 1920 by 1080, 300 resolution, and you can see it starts off with a transparent background. Today's focus is to kind of add on to that, and of course, we're going to be focusing on the rectangle tool. So let's get started. I'm going to click OK. I've got my blank document. Now the rectangle tool is hiding over here on the toolbar, right over on the side. And you'll see if you hold the button down and then let go, there's a lot of other tools under here that are pretty handy. Let's start with the rectangle tool. The rest of the tools work almost identical to it. Um, they've just got their own little flavor and slight changes to them. So we'll begin there by choosing the rectangle tool. Now, at the top is where you can actually set up everything for the rectangle tool. You can set up your fill color. You can set up if there's a stroke weight. You can set up how big of a stroke weight that actually is so let's say this is just like five pixels roughly all right and then if you wanted to you could actually set up the width and height as well we're gonna just come back to the document here and I'm gonna draw a rectangle with the idea that I'm creating a lower third so I'm gonna just create this lower third right here and we've got a red rectangle with the black stroke weight around the outside now I can change this as long as I'm on this layer at any time I want. If I go back to the rectangle tool, I can go up and I can change the fill color to any other fill that I want clicking through these. If I want to change the stroke weight to white, I can go ahead and do that. If I want it to be non-existent as in transparent around the outside, we can go like that. So I can adjust these settings. Now if I want to draw another rectangle at this point, what's going to happen is we're going to end up with the same exact features here. And if I go to change those features, we can go like that. One of the things you'll notice is with our second rectangle, it automatically created another layer for it. So now I can get my Move tool and go ahead and move this around to whatever I want. Let's say I want to resize it, Command-T, and I can go ahead and resize that. We're working with rectangles. Let's go like this. Let's drop that to the bottom layer here. I'm just whipping up something quick. Okay. And there we've got the beginnings of a lower third. Now this is all very like primitive as far as our shapes go, and we're limited to rectangles with this tool. So if you want to try the other tools that are underneath the rectangle tool, come back over there. You can see some of the other options that we've got. Rounded rectangle, ellipse tool, polygon tool, custom shape tool is a lot of fun. The, the rest of these are pretty similar. I'll show you this one though. This is pretty neat. Now up at the top, you can actually choose your shape that you want to work with. Okay. Now you're not going to have all of these in here by default, so if you go to the gear and you scroll down and you choose all, it'll give you the option of actually appending your list, which means it's going to add to it all of the shapes that are otherwise available to you. I'm going to cancel because I've already done this. You're going to click OK to add all these shapes in. Now, let's say I want to add in a shape like this, which is kind of like a banner shape. Okay, let's go with that. Now I'm going to come out, zoom out, and I'm going to come over here, and let's go and get a different color. And you can see I'm on that rectangle now. Okay, so I'm going to create another layer over here, and on this layer, let's go ahead and create this call out. There we go. We're back to the red fill with the black stroke weight. And I might be able to use this as a lower third, so if we click these off, all right, get to my move tool very quickly. I can come over, I can use that as the lower third. All right, so a lot of different options here with creating custom shapes and rectangles, and you've got some options of the fill color and the outside um, stroke weight that goes around the outside. Um, that's going to give you a few things to work with here for creating lower thirds in the form of an overlay. Of course, when I go to save this, which is what I didn't cover um, in the previous episode, I want to maintain this transparency. Um, if I save it as a JPEG, it's going to take all of this transparency and it's going to fill it in with white. JPEG doesn't have a transparency option in it, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do File, Save As, and I'm going to save this as a PNG. So PNG, and then go ahead and save this onto my desktop, and let's uh, lower third, boom, and then I save that. 
Now it'll have the transparency if I drag this in over any other layers, whether it's in video, whether it's in another Photoshop document, whatever it may be, I'll have that transparency. And in this case, it's perfectly sized to fit my video format, which is 1080p. Um, we're going to continue on with this series, uh, picking up a few more details. We'll talk radiance, and we'll talk some of the blending options that go along with this, and just a number of other features that you can use to create more sophisticated overlays as you go. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Red Hawk Media. Bye.